Hi, it's Mike at Phase One. I'm gonna give you some more content today. You know, we are locked down, so the shop is shut. So I'm stuck here all on my own some lonesome. So I thought what we'd do over the next few weeks is let's do some videos and do some tips and tricks and show you some of the favorite things that I like in the shop. Now, one thing that got me to thinking is Christmas is coming up and um, we tend to sell a lot of turntables at Christmas. Uh, not just to DJs, but uh, people for home use as well. And usually what happens is they get a turntable and if you've never owned a turntable before, sometimes it can be quite a tricky thing to set up if you've never done it before. So I'm gonna give you a few quick tips and a few quick pointers on how to set your turntables up. Uh, we're not setting it up for super scratch DJs and stuff like that. You guys know how to use turntables. This is for those who have never touched a turntable before and they want to know how to adjust the weight, what a stylus is, what a cartridge is, and how to connect it to their sound system. Yeah, so we'll chop this video up into bits. So, one of our most popular items at this time of year is the Pioneer PLX 500. Now, yeah, this is a DJ turntable, but to be honest with you, it gets used a lot for people in houses just wanting to listen to their records. And this is a turntable I would really recommend for that as well. One reason being is it produces phono level and line level. I'll explain what that is a little bit later in the video. But what I want to show you here now is that is the stylus cartridge and head shell. I'm going to remove that. Now I'm being my own cameraman, so it's going to prove to be tricky. So there's three parts that we're looking at there. This part, this part here, is the head shell. Turning it upside down, we've got the cartridge and then we've got the stylus. A lot of people don't realise that there is three parts to this. So like I said, cartridge, stylus, head shell. Now another thing that will come with your turntable is this thing here. Now that is the weight and this has got two parts to it. It's got the front bit where we can work out what weight is going on and there's the actual weight and they rotate separately. Now that screws onto there like so. But what we need to do is we need to set the weight. So what, how we go about doing that is we need to find its zero point. And what I mean by that is we need to find where the arm just balances on its own. And then we can add the correct amount of weight to our stylus. So what we need to do is get the arm to float. Thus that will give us our zero point. So that's a little bit there, so wind it back on a bit. Let's move that turntable in. I think it always works better if you're working on a very level surface. And unfortunately, I don't think this surface is completely level, but this will give you the guide on how to do this. So I'll just think that a little bit more. There we go. I think that's pretty much floating, balanced. So at that point, the bit that I showed you earlier, the front part, now we can set to zero. So with the zero, right point in at 12 o'clock when you look at the numbers on the gauge, the zero wants to be at 12 o'clock. And at that point, we know that this is set at zero. Now we need to add weight. Now different styluses ask for different weights. I think this stylus would be quite happy being weighted at about three to three and a half. I'm gonna set it in between. And now we know that that stylus is tracking at that weight. Very simple. What you would do is look at the stylus and look at the specifications for your stylus for your turntable and find out what the tracking weight is, then zero your tone arm, and then add the correct weight. But here's a handy little gadget. It can save you doing all that. Now you can buy these quite easily on eBay. It's just a set of little electronic scales. 
And then what we can do is turn that on there. And then we've got our zero. And what's really easy about doing it this way, you don't have to zero the arm. You can work out exactly what the pressure that's been put on there by weighing it. And that is telling me on the digital reading, 3.31 grams of tracking has been added. This is so easy to use. You'll pick these up on eBay, literally less than 10 pound, I would think. I use one all the time because it's great when you're going to venues, because if I'm DJing on vinyl, if I want to add my styluses to the decks that's in the club, I can just quickly put that on and I don't have to do all that balancing the arm carry on. I can just do it using the set of scales. Another little top tip. So earlier in the video, we mentioned about phono level and line level. Now a DJ tends to use a mixer and mixers have, as you can see there, phono and line level. So you can change to line level or phono. Now, plugging a turntable in, generally you would switch it to phono because what's happening is the signal from a turntable is a little bit lower. So it has, this mixer has an amplifier inside it, a little op amp, as I like to call them, that when you switch it to phono, it boosts the signal so you can get plenty of signal through. It just so happens though, that on this particular turntable, the PLX500 and some turntables as well that I use for domestic use will also produce a line level and a phono level. One of the things though is if you've got a turntable that only produces phono level and you're not using a DJ mixer, I've got another tip for you. Let's say for instance you've bought a turntable and you've just got a little home amplifier system that's connecting to your speakers. We'll use this little amplifier that we sell as an example. Now, as you can see on the front there, it's got line level, aux in, media player, because this little unit has a media player on it, but there's no phono. So that would tell you, mm, we can't plug a turntable into here. Just coming to the back of this particular amplifier, you can see that where you would plug in is line. Now, CD as well is producing line level. So if you plugged a turntable into this, it wouldn't be very loud, in fact it probably wouldn't work because there's no phono input like what we showed you on the DJ mixer. Right? Now I know with the PLX500 that's not a problem because the turntable we've been using produces line level and phono level but that is a bit unusual. For example, this turntable does not produce line level. It will only produce phono level. So, the question is, can I plug my turntable into my amplifier that only has a line level input? Especially if my turntable is only producing phono level. The answer is yes, but you will need another piece of equipment. We'll need a pre-amplifier for turntables. We sell them here. This is just one of them. And basically what happens is you can see it's got an output and it's got an input. So what you would do is you'd go from your turntable to the input on this little amplifier and then you would go from the output with some more leads in to the back of your little amplifier. So it just sits in between the two. Now what we'll do is I'll put some links in the description to this video where you can go and purchase these things. There's another version here this one's just made by another company, but again, it's got phono in and then line level out. And then you could add that to your standard amplifier that hasn't got a phono preamp in it. So there you go, there was my top tips today for anyone that's starting out with a turntable that's never used one before. You superstar DJs, you know how to set your turntable up and some DJs like their turntables set up in a certain way. But I think for general use, if you've never used a turntable, this video is for you. The turntable that we mentioned earlier was the PLX500 from Pioneer, and I really do recommend that as a 
turntable that you could just plug in to a set of speakers. We do actually have a package on the website to go through. Great for just listening to your records at home. My son actually has a PLX 500 with a set of DM40 Pioneer monitors and it works really well. He's not into DJing, he just likes collecting records and he just listens to his records. And it's a great way and a very simple way of putting a turntable and speaker package together that without having any fuss of preamps or having to plug it into any other bit of equipment, it just works. So I really do recommend that product. But remember, if you've got a turntable that is only producing phono level and you want to plug it into a line level amplifier, it still can be done using the little preamps. I hope you found that useful. If you like our videos, we're always reviewing a lot of DJ equipment, a lot of lighting, a lot of PA. Um, so we're trying to add a lot of content at the minute to our YouTube channel because we're in lockdown and the shop is closed and I'm here on my own. And uh, I've got no one to talk to, so I thought I'd talk to you. If you like the, our videos, click the subscribe button. It's Mike at Phase 1. Cheers.